so hot. Why did I wear plather overall? <laughs> so now, um, <laughs> I lost it. Up next on DIY Not, I show you how to create an Easter vignette that is chic and sophisticated. Hey Snapchat, it's Mr. Kate. I am filming a video right now actually for Easter. Let's say hi to the crew. Oh, there they are. Hi crew, wave crew. Look at that cute crew. I guess we should get to this video, right? Let's do this. Sorry. Yeah. Hey guys, follow me on Snapchat by the way, Mr. Kate. Okay. Anyways, like what I said in the Snapchat, we are filming a video for Easter. I'm really excited. I am approaching these Easter DIYs a little bit differently. I am inspired by spring, which is all about rebirth, rejuvenating your home, bringing in some color. But I am going to approach all of them in a cohesive manner because I want them to all be one vignette in a sort of interior design motivated way. So I'm establishing a color palette, which is what I always do whenever I'm decorating a room. So my color palette today are these beautiful paints here. Now I have a couple pastel-y kind of colors, which is obviously very classic Easter, but I also have a darker black charcoal color, which is a little more chic, sophisticated, and I think will anchor the artwork that I'm gonna do and make it last beyond Easter. Cause if you like it, you could keep it into summer, why not? So I'm gonna do a big piece of art back here and then I'm gonna do two different egg DIYs. Got some paper mache eggs here and I've got some real eggs right here. First step, I actually have to paint these paper mache eggs white, which I'm gonna do with some spray paint and I'm gonna do it outside, so let's do it. Getting stuck on my drop cloth. So for this DIY, you need paper mache eggs. I got these at the craft store. I got some big ones and I got some regular size ones. And I'm gonna spray paint these white with white spray paint, but you could paint them with acrylic paint if you wanna paint inside and not come outside. And it's time for the artwork. I'm letting my spray painted eggs dry. I'm gonna flip them over, do the other side. But in the meantime, I'm going to create a very large piece of modern art. It's so easy to do, it's also so fun, and it's going to establish my color palette. So what you need is some acrylic paint. I'm using these big tubes because I have a giant canvas here. This is 42 by 42 inches. I got big high ceilings in here. So I want this to be a big statement piece. This big piece of art is establishing my color palette, which as you can see has a kind of charcoal black color, a ivory sort of color, which these I'm saying are my sophisticated sheet colors. This pink and this dusty blue is more the traditional pastel Easter color, but because I don't have yellow and lavender and all of the other colors, it's gonna look a little more sophisticated. I've got a paper plate and I'm gonna squish all my paint onto this paper plate. I also have a sponge that I'm gonna use as my last step on this canvas and it is conveniently in an egg shape. If you can't find an egg shape sponge, you could always cut one into more of an ovally egg shape. I also have a big paintbrush. This is a really approachable, easy way to paint. And this is a three inch. And then I've got some water and some paper towels just in case. And I set up the space with drop cloth. So I'm gonna do my base coat with this beautiful ivory color. And then I'm gonna go down into this dusty blue color along the bottom. Don't be shy. Get a nice big dollop on there. You wanna go on nice and thick with the paint. It's modern art. Don't be shy. Let your brush strokes be nice and erratic and just have fun with it. And I'm even gonna leave some spots nice and thick like that. Cause it's just gonna give this artwork some texture. It for the first coat. I'm gonna let these thick areas dry before I move on to the second layer so that I don't blend together the color. So rinse your brush and get ready for your next layer. Dollop of pink. Continue on my merry way with my big paintbrush. It's dry. So for my final layer, I'm gonna use this black paint and I'm gonna do some drips down from the top and then I'm gonna use this sponge, my little egg sponge, to kind of create little egg spongy marks in it. I like how these egg shapes look. I don't wanna do any more big drips with 
my egg sponge. Instead, I'm gonna do some smaller drips. I added a little bit of water into this tube of black paint to water it down a bit and make it a bit more runny because I want some thinner drips. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so let's let gravity do its thing. These drips are just gonna keep dripping as they dry. This is my interpretation of rebirth, dark, giving birth to the light, to spring. It's modern art, guys. Let's move on to some eggs, shall we? All right, my paper mache eggs are dry. They look fabulous. I love how you can kind of see the texture of the paper mache. So I'm gonna use silver glitter because I think this goes really well with the color palette that I've established in the painting. It's bringing in a metallic, which again, when I work in interior design, I bring in metallics in lamps and different metal decor items. I kind of just took these from the Whole Foods juice counter to go carrying trays for beverages. I figured they would be the perfect size for these big eggs, like a giant egg carton. And the small ones, I'm gonna hang from these sticks over here, so I also have on hand some beautiful silver thread, a hot glue gun. I am going to make little tabs later for that. And I'm going to make the glitter stick to my eggs with some of this quick dry tacky glue. I have two paper plates here. In one paper plate, I'm going to put some glue. I am going to put some of this beautiful silver glitter into this plate. Let's dip, shall we? Kind of roll it around. All right, so this egg is looking excellent. Extravagant. Glitter and repeat. Glitter and repeat. Okay, you dry. Now for these little ones, I want these to actually be ornaments. Pull off a little piece here. Hot glue it in a little loop right to the top of my eggs. And there you go. An ornament for your little stick arrangement. I'm ecstatic. Ecstatic. All right, so I established my metallics with the previous egg project. And now for this DIY, I'm gonna establish some patterns. So again, in interior design, you have a color palette, you have some metallic elements, and you have some patterns. You want a variety of Sharpie sizes. This one is a Magnum. This one is a big one, and this one is a regular size one. These humane eggs from Happy Chickens, I already poked on either side and blew out the yolk. Gonna make a quiche later, so it's not wasteful. And it's just leaving now the egg shell. If you don't wanna do that, you could hard boil them, but of course, that would mean that your decor has to be temporary, or you could just use more paper mache eggs painted white. I'm gonna take this medium size Sharpie. This is really where you guys get to be creative. You wanna be careful because it will smear, so just make sure you let it dry a little bit before you put your finger over the line. You're done! Oh my gosh, these look so good. There's all kinds of patterns here, so really have fun with this. They're all organic looking. I even did some all black and left some all white. I'm really excited to get these into the whole vignette. I gotta clean off this area behind me, bring in my glitter, and have a whole rebirth design. Hippity hoppity, hell yeah! Cheek bunny ears? No? Okay, well, I'm gonna use these in my styling, which is what I'm gonna get to now. For styling the space, I'm gonna use a variety of elements, all keeping within the color palette. I'm using a bell jar to encase one of the glitter eggs. I'm using the drink container to hold four more of the large glitter eggs. I'm using a glass and wood jewelry box that I got at the craft store, along with some mossy dried straw to kind of create a nest inside the jewelry box. And I'm gonna nestle some of the Sharpie eggs inside of that. I'm offsetting the asymmetrical placement of the canvas with the vase that has the sticks and the smaller glitter eggs. I'm also adding some plumage with feathers and a giant mason jar filled with more of these Sharpie eggs. I'm also including some plain eggs as well to just bring in some more of the white. I found a pink candle that has the exact rosy kind of pink that I'm going with. I'm just gonna finish off the vignette with a sprinkle of feathers that work perfectly with the color palette and I think it looks great. Hi Snapchat! 
I just finished this painting. You like this painting? It's my spring awakening painting. I also did a lot of eggs, glitter eggs, sharpie eggs. You like it? You like it? Love you. Oh, bye. Oh god. It just it goes so fast. Guys, I am obsessed. How good does this look? This vignette I would love to have in our office for every day of the spring. So I am so happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys love it and I hope you guys get inspired to make your own color palette vignette for your home. So please comment, let me know what you think. I love reading your comments. Also subscribe because as always, we have fun videos coming at you. Don't wanna miss it. So yeah, because why not? And remember, there's no wrong way to feel good about yourself, especially in springtime. I gotta take some more snaps, let's do this. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Work it, yes. Yas, egg, yas. Mr. Case!